Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Everdell. If you'd also like to know how to play this game, I have a separate video for that. First, let's get it ready to go. I'll be setting it up for three players. Start by placing the game board and decide which way you want it to face. If you're with two players, I suggest you place the board sideways in between you. If you're with more players, it's better that new players can see the board from the front and experienced players can see the board from behind. Every player needs to be able to reach the board and read everything that's on it and on the cards. For this video, I'll keep it like this. Then comes the tree, the ever tree. In case you've dismantled it and don't know how to put it back together, the rulebook shows you how that goes. It should look like this, and it goes here on the stump. Let's put some things on the board. First, all the resources. The berries go here, above the action that lets you take a berry. You also have pebbles. Officially they go here, but I like to keep them right above the action that lets you take a pebble. Because then you have some free space above the action that lets you take a point token. The rulebook says you have to keep the point tokens next to the board. I like to place them here by the action. There are also these nicely colored resin tokens. They can go by the action that lets you take some. And finally, here by the action that lets you take wood, you can put the little logs. You also have these four boards, the basic event tiles. The one with the statue can go all the way to the left, here. Then, this boat can go on the water, like this. Then, on the other side of the tree, you can place this tent. And, all the way on the right, you can place these caravans. But the board's not done yet. First, you can take this big deck of cards. Give it a good shuffle. When you're done, place the deck face down in this space under the tree. Then, place eight cards faced up in this area. This is called the meadow. And the last thing that can go on the board are these smaller cards. This is what their backside looks like, and they all have an action on the front. Shuffle the deck. When you're done, you can place a card faced up on each of these four spaces here. If you're playing with two people, you can only place three cards. The rest of these cards can go back in the box. There are some tokens that go next to the game board. You have these small circles, the occupied tokens. I always place them here, under this space where you discard cards. Almost done! You also have some other small cards, these ones. Shuffle the deck, and then place four cards open here on the tree. Two on this side, and two on this side. You don't need the rest of these cards, they can go out of the game. We wrap up the setup by taking everything for the players. Choose a color and take all the tokens. I choose to play with the red squirrels. I can keep two of them. And the other ones go on top of the tree. 
one on the left under spring, one in the middle under summer, and two on the right under autumn. Each player does this. Keep two player tokens and put the rest up here. Now, time to pick a first player. For now, that'll be me. That means I get to take five cards from the deck and keep them. The next player gets six cards. And player number three gets to take seven cards. If I were setting up for four players, that player would have taken eight cards. Done! This is how you set up Everdell. I'm ready to do my first action. If you'd like to know how it goes, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching this setup. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.